What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Skinny Pedal Motorsports. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but I've had a lot of things going on in the background, I'm trying to do a lot of different things, chasing issues on the car, and finally making the decision to swap from a MS3 to a Holley Terminator X Max. I do like my Mega Squirt. It's just around here where I'm at, there's not a lot of support for the Mega Squirt, and a lot of people use Holley, and I want to be able to bounce ideas of how my boost control strategy and other things off those people at the track, and that just makes it easier on me, and I really kind of want to challenge myself to learn a new ECU, so that's what I'm going to do, but I'm going to hop right here, I'm going to get the harness unplugged, get everything out from under the car that took to the ECU, get in there and get the ECU out from under the seat and get it unplugged. Well, I had to take that out to get the harness to the wall there. Well, as you can see, all the harness is gone. Everything is out. I pulled everything, like I said, out of the car. Everything is over here on my seat, ready to go to the guy I sold it to. He's getting my EF5 Source Gold Box, my screen, and everything else. But we're gonna wait on the holiday to get here. It should be here in a couple days. We'll catch back up with y'all then. Well, there's the holly. I got the 550 T X Max without the little three and a half inch screen. I plan on going with the bigger screen in a later video, show y'all how to install that in this car. But yeah, let's get to unboxing this thing and I'll show you what all's in there. You got your battery, battery power. This goes directly to the ECU and Specifically, Holly says go directly to the battery with the positive and negative. Pretty simple. Holly EFI 4L80, 4L60 trans harness. Harness for the engine. Good connectors. Really solid setup. Yep, this is the ECU. Thing I like about this, it's super small. I'm going to hide it where the original ECU in the car was. One cool thing about the Holly, comes with its own O2 sensor. You don't have to buy one like I did with the Gold Box. So let's dive into wiring this thing up and getting it on the car. So we're gonna put the harness through that hole back there. You see it over there. It should go up under the car and into the corner over there. Just kind of like I had the Gold Box, but I'm actually gonna have it under the seat this time. But yeah, we're just gonna drop the harness through that hole. Well, you can see we got the main engine harness in. We also got to get the trans harness in. It's in the box back here. There's the trans harness. We got to push a couple of this through the firewall. This, a couple things through the firewall and get this in. All the harnesses are in. ADE harness is down through there. Got everything in place. I'm going to get the intake back on. It's, these harnesses are pretty self-explanatory where everything goes. You got cylinder heads. So our cylinder head grounds on each cylinder head. All the sides go to a certain side, oil pressure, just a lot of different things. I mean, there's a ton of install videos on YouTube, so I'm not really gonna go through all those, plugging all those up, but I gotta get the intake back on here and I'll get everything plugged up and then we'll get inside the car and work on getting everything wired up, getting a base tune put in it and get this thing ready to fire up. As you can see, we got the intake back on, all the fuel rails, everything's back on just like it was before I swapped the ECU. So we got to hop around here into the car and deal with this whole mess. So I think what I'm going to do is put my relays right here. It'll make it where it's really easy accessible. I can just flip down my dash and access my relays for my fan, fuel pump, all that. Make it really serviceable because... I'm going somewhere cool this year, something I wanted to do for a very long time. I'm actually going to go on Rocky Mountain Race Week in mid-June. It's like a seven-day trip. 
you go out and race four or five days, travel a couple through the mountains, it's crazy. You've probably seen people like Cletus McFarlane and the Booster Boys and all those guys do it. And I've been wanting to do it for a long time, so I'm finally going to do it. So I want to make things serviceable. So yeah, I think that'll be a really good place to put it. But we're going to get working on that. Well, you can see where we put it. I'm now going to put the Terminator up against this wall over here. And then start routing my signal wires up to my fuel pump, my fans, and my boost control for now. And I plan on adding a flex fuel and some other things later on, but I just want to get this thing running and get it tuned and start making some power. So we got the wires plumbed in here. Basically, I'm going to have my fan wires go up to my fan fuel relays, or my fan relays. Got my fuel pump relay, got my signal wire that'll run to the holly. Got everything off my old setup. I put it on the back of this, like I said. But I'm gonna have to dive into that Mars getting pretty late and I'm gonna get some sleep. So we'll have to catch y'all tomorrow. Well, we're back. I have already gotten some of the wiring done. As you can see, like I said, it's gonna be accessible. I've already got most of the power wires off the relays, ran out to the fans and etc. I just gotta get the Holly in place and everything wired up. So I'm just gonna hop right into that. So, you can see, I got the ECU out. And I ran into a little problem. All these wires weren't gonna fit under the dash, and I didn't like the way it looked, so, going a different route. Sometimes you gotta do things different. And you can see I got the harness right there. I got my fender wheel out. So what I'm gonna do is run the fender, or not run the fender, run the harness. I'm gonna go right there. Through that factory hole, we see all those wires coming out. I'm going to go up through there and to the back of the engine. And then that will leave me with a little less wire under the dash. And it won't look so bad. I had just a, I had a bunch of wire hanging out. And I just didn't like the way it looked. I like my stuff to look semi-clean. So I'm just going to redo it. As you can see, we got everything up there bolted up. Got the harness in place. Got the harness down here wired where we want it to go. Going right. Sneak past the engine over there. I'm going to leave my power tap to where I can get it one day. We're going to go right inside the car right here. With the harness going in the firewall like that, it's going to make things really simple. All of my fuses are going to be inside. All of my inputs and output wires are going to be inside. ECU is going to be inside. It's just going to make things really simple. And uh, let's hop inside and get that thing wired up and get this car fired up on this Terminator X. Well, as you can see, we got a lot of things in place over there. Fuse panel, uh, bus bar for 12 volt switched is up there. All my fuses are back there. I know it looks like a mess, but when I'm done, it'll be clean. I'd like to offer a simple tip. I know I prefer non-insulated butt connectors, and you can't always get those at the parts store if you're in a pinch, but they do make them insulated. So what I do is I get a knife out, slice it down the side, make it a non-insulated, and then I put insulation over the top like, I know I got some insulation like here. I'm gonna have red wires. So I'll put this over the top so it matches. That way it don't stick out. I mean, if you got a red wire and a yellow butt connector, to me it just says you don't care. And I just thought I would offer that tip. Really simple to make a non-insulated butt connector with one of these and a knife. Well, we got everything getting flashed over the ECU. Power's in the back. Everything's checking out over here. It's a mess. But we're fixing to fire this thing up for the first time. I got everything wired up right. Everything, my new sensors are in for the oil and fuel pressure. Just got everything ready to go. Just waiting on this firmware to get done. Flash and we're gonna fire it up. I got a base tune calibration already punched in. Well, let's see if it starts. Well, after several wiring mess ups and getting some help from the nephew, I think we're gonna be able to finally fire this thing up. Open up the gauge panel here. A couple of these things are wrong. I gotta do some adjusting, but we'll let him turn it over. Go ahead and turn it over. Too bad though. But, good idle RPM, 
That's definitely not correct. But this carburetor works pretty good. Now it's time to get in there. Make the power of the thing. Well, as you can see, the car runs. It fired up pretty fairly easy on the Holly Terminator X. I'm gonna get it remote tuned because I want to drive this thing. I want to take the time to learn how to tune this thing right now. I am gonna learn, but maybe later. But that'll be the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button. Drop a comment down below. And if you've been here for a while, you know the message. If you ain't on the brake, you better be on the skinny pedal, son. We out of here.